In this video, we're going to look at transition and animation in Impress, which can add elements of interest to the presentation so that the viewers of the presentation, um, their attention will be kept to the, uh, to the slides. Um, a transition is how the next slide is displayed. It's what happens when you click Next or have a slide automatically advance and how does the next slide appear? Animation is what happens to the content of a slide as it is displayed. Um, let's look at transitions first. To add a transition, click on the slide transition choice in the task list on the right. So here's the task list on the right and towards the bottom is the slide transition choice. And you can see when it automatically opens, um, <clears throat> there's a listing of different kinds of transitions. If we scroll up to the top of the listing, we start with no transition. And as you click on each one, you can see that it does a preview and shows what it will look like. And I can just click on a sample of them just to give you a sense of what they look like. Once you click on one, that becomes the transition for the slide to appear. So we'll leave checkerboard across. We'll go back to the top of the presentation and we'll start the slideshow. You can start the slideshow by clicking on slideshow from the menu and then slideshow or simply pushing F5. So I'll start the slideshow. To advance the slides right now, I have to hit the enter key or click the left mouse button. So that's the second slide. And that's the third slide. So you can see when I hit the enter key from this slide to move to this slide, it was checkerboard across. Let's try it one more time and click the top slide, go to slideshow, start the slideshow. I'm going to hit the enter key. I'm going to hit the enter key and you can see the differences in the transitions. <clears throat> now, so we have the next slide and we want to move from slide number three to slide number four. We're going to use the shape diamond transition and we want it to go after three seconds. So if for this, to go from slide three to slide four, instead of clicking the mouse, I've checked automatically after and I've entered three seconds. So now if we watch the slideshow, I have to click next, I have to click next, and now if we wait three seconds, you see the next slide changed automatically and I did not have to click next. So that is an overview of how transitions work. Um, you can see there are so many different choices and you do transitions to bring interest to going from one slide to the next.